YouTube, Vertical Stacker, that didn't last long. I'm 20% of the way through my 2022 goal, five coin series. Not really a series, but the ones I've been trying to collect. Let's talk about it. So the last couple of days have been a bit of a whirlwind as I set my 2022 goal to obtain five specific coins. One of them is of course the coin you see here. Another is the 2013 W reverse proof Buffalo. Another is the $5 uh, Indian head gold coin. Another is a type two American gold Eagle. And then finally, I wanted to pick up one of those Double Dragon Perth Mint coins. Those are the five that are on my radar that I'm hoping to pick up local. So let me tell you what I've been doing and, and, and then I'll tell you kind of how I picked up this one. So I've been doing the rounds to the different coin shops in the area. I have one, two, three, four that I frequent, I don't know, on a regular basis. I, I, I frequent them and I get around to them particularly when I'm looking for something. I have one go-to shop, and that's Idaho Gold and Silver on Overland and Five Mile in Boise, Idaho. Malcolm and Casey over there are uh, fantastic folks and have always treated me well. And in fact, that's where I ended up getting this coin, but in a roundabout way, and I'll tell you about it. So I've been out looking for these five different coins, and I tell you, they're harder to find than I thought they would be. A lot of the shops have these $5 you know, Indian um, gold pieces, but they're either slabbed or they're raw and subjectively graded, in my opinion, too high, even though I'm not a grader and I have no basis for that, other than to say I don't want to pay 900 bucks for a $5 gold Indian. <laughs> but um, I just haven't found what I've needed in my price point. I'm at the six to seven hundred dollar range price point, probably for a five dollar gold eagle in you know relatively good shape. If I can find a worn one for you know four fifty to five hundred bucks, I'd probably jump on that and buy that one too. Uh, be as it may, uh, we did the rounds, uh, found one of these at another shop that was in raw condition, but it was subjectively graded in a flip at MS sixty three and the uh, dealer wanted uh, $1,450 for that particular specimen. And I just thought that was too high and I was not prepared to pay that much money for a, you know, a common date. I can't remember the date on the coin, but I knew it wasn't a key date. But for a common date coin like that, just wasn't gonna do it. So I went around, went around, made some phone calls. Everybody was saying, no, I don't have anything. And then I stopped in to Idaho Gold and Silver, and talked with Casey and Malcolm. And as I was sitting there talking, I told them about you know one of my goals, and and uh, I asked them, "Do you have any of these?" And and no, don't. And then you know suddenly, you know Malcolm pops up and says, "Well, you know, let me look, let me look in my deep stack." <laughs> and he goes and pulls out his secret stash, and he was kind of pilfering through it, pilfering through it, and he goes, "Oh, oh, what do you know? Look at this. I have one right here." And he takes and drops it on the table right in front of me. And I looked at it and I thought, ah, oh, that's a great specimen. It was slabbed, so I figured, ah, oh, it's probably gonna be more than I wanna pay. But, um, you know, we talked some brass tacks and he sold this to me for $1,225. And I felt just fine paying that amount of money for this type of coin. Uh, in a slab in particular, since it's a numismatic type of coin, uh, I don't mind the Numis being in slabs. Uh, bullion coins, yeah, I'm not a fan slabbing those. In fact, you've probably seen uh, my video about busting coins out of slabs. So 1225, they did me right. I was happy and I'm 20% done with my goal of collecting those five coins for 2022. A uh, little information on this particular coin. It is the most common date, the 1932 is the most common date of this $10 uh, Indian head. There are 4,463,000 4, of these were minted. 
uh, as I looked at the comps, and that's why I feel like I did okay with the 1225 purchase price. The comps, you know, I found one here on eBay. It was $1,245, but it was cleaned and raw. And then, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> and then I found this one on the other extreme scale. An MS67 for a paltry $46,000. Yeah, I've done some foolish things, but I'm not going there. I suppose if I was more of a serious collector of numismatic type coins, I, I might actually go there, but not with what I'm doing. Not going to dump that amount of money uh, on that coin. So, you know, the rest of the comps on eBay are anywhere from $1,300 to $1,500. So I feel like, you know, Malcolm uh, did me right on this. I appreciate his willingness to dig into his deep stack and help me complete my goal uh, at least 20% of the way. So one down, four to go. Now, as a hint of things to come, I will tell you that I have uh, tentatively purchased another one of the five. I recognized when I set that goal that it was a pretty lofty goal in that the likelihood of me finding all five of those coins locally particularly the reverse proof buffalo and that perth mint gold double dragon were going to be pretty difficult to do so i've probably cheated a little bit and i'm going to have to go online uh, to some precious metals groups or you know probably not a dealer like atmex or sd bullion i, I just I just don't want to give them my money for, you know, right now, anyway, on this particular goal that I have. So uh, I'll go to the online groups. I will go to Instagram. And uh, I did pick up one of those other coins, and that will be forthcoming in another video. So until it's in my hand, I'm still only 20% done with my goal. The other 80%, well, remains to be seen. I tell you, I've been around a lot of shops, and nobody has those $5 gold pieces in a raw form that you know are, are reasonable as far as their price goes so now some of you are really going to laugh roll your eyes spit coffee at your monitor or your phone whatever eh, it is what it is but i also happened to when i was doing my rounds come across a dose pesos <laughs> i just i just put it in that 14 millimeter capsule the 13 millimeter is actually the one I think it's designed to fit this one. It's a little bit loose in there, but I picked up this Dos Pesos Mexican gold for 100 bucks. I felt pretty good about that. These seem to hold their value really, really well. And most of the comps I've seen have been anywhere from 109 to $114. So for 100 bucks, I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that. So even though I just put out this video <laughs> talking about how... Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of foreign gold and I want to get rid of it. All right, mea culpa, sticks and stones, you know, whatever you got to do. But it's hard to pass up what you think subjectively is a good deal. I think I'll be able to dump that off uh, someday easy enough. The Mexican gold seems to really do quite well in our community. So today I'm going to head around and, you know, and I, I don't like making the phone calls as much because... I actually like physically going to the shops. It's, you know, a kid in a candy store, right? You love looking at the counter. You love looking through the glass and seeing them. They pull out the tray. You can, you know, pilfer through what they have there. And it's just a lot of fun and my preferred way to do it. If I'm really busy at work or something, then, of course, I'll make a few phone calls. But today, I think I'll make the rounds again and see if I can pick up a $5 Buffalo or uh, one of those other coins that I was looking at, maybe a Type 2 Gold Eagle. Uh, and, and again, I'm not going to pay more than about 85 to to $100 over spot right now for a gold eagle. Uh, I've seen them as high as 200 over spot, 150 over spot seems to be fairly typical for some. Uh, and it's interesting, too, that the, the spot price, not the spot price, but the, the selling price for silver. Uh, my friends over at Idaho Gold and Silver have the best... Uh, price over spot right now in the valley that I've been able to find, and that's three dollars and fifty cents per ounce over spot. And I'm still not ready to pull that trigger on silver yet. Uh, I am still hopeful that we can get to that sub twenty silver. I might be a dreamer. I suppose I could be, but 
Uh, if it does, then I'll be in good shape, and I certainly hope it does. If not, well, maybe we have a new floor, and I'll have to sit on the sidelines and watch you folks have all the fun. But, you know, if it stays around 22, 23 for, you know, another six months, then I might take a look at that and go, eh, all right, maybe this is the new floor, and I will go all in, as they say in Texas, hold them. Back up that truck. Folks, I'm going to go have a nice weekend up at the cabin. I'm going to uh, ride some uh, uh, side-by-sides and four-wheelers. Probably have my kids do a little snowboarding. Uh, I'm not a snowboarder. Uh, I like my body intact to where I'm not leaving limbs or pulling them out of sockets like one of my kids did recently. It does not sound like fun to me. Anyway, it's going long. So you folks take care. Have a great weekend. Vertical Stacker. Till next time. Thank you.